Hey y'all, this is Jessica at Casa Magnolia and welcome to Halloween. This is the first of my Halloween videos and I am so excited to share with you today my Halloween entryway table. This video is a collaboration with the awesome Erin Williams and I cannot wait to see what she has come up with. We each decided to decorate our entryway table and show you guys how it came out. So my entryway table, I want it to be like neutral, spooky, uh, a little bit glam, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I didn't really go with the oranges and stuff. I stuck with like gray, cream, white, black, um, a little bit of mossy green, but that was about it. So let me show you what I did. My usual formula for doing an entryway table is I like to have my lamp on one side with a couple little tchotchkes and then usually like a bigger thing on the other side of the table. So you'll notice that in fall I did my blue and white uh, canisters and vases. So this time you'll see that I used this cloche with stacked up skulls in it. I just used a toothpick to keep these together. Then I used a package of Dollar Tree reindeer moss and I just put that on the bottom to kind of finish it off and make it a little look like graveyardy. Now don't forget and don't be afraid to add a little height because that's going to add drama. Height is drama. So I've stuck mine on top of a similar looking wood candlestick that I got at Target and that's going to add a little height but then I also need it even more so I put two books underneath it too. Don't forget about books. Free height makers. My fairy light cloche is in front of that, which you'll notice from the $5 Goodwill challenge. Put this haunted house key door sign in the back just to um, kind of finish it off so there wasn't as much blank wall behind it. On the other side with the lamp, I just decided to put this dollar store fabric. It was the spooky fabric, and I think it added a little bit of spooky elegance to it and it doesn't impede the light. Then I took a pack of two Dollar Tree tarantulas put one in the lamp, it stuck right into that fabric. And then I put the other one on the other side underneath the skulls to kind of marry the two sides together. These book of spells are actually empty. They're from Dollar Tree as well. And again, I stacked them up to add a little bit of height. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I have a little bit of glam for my lamp and the glitter on the skulls, but it's also grounded with the great black from the mirrors and the spiders and the black skull. I'm super pleased with how it turned out. So I hope you guys like seeing how I did my entryway table. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go check out Erin's video. It's in the link below. And until I see you again, I hope you have fun creating your spooky estate. Bye guys.